is a tiny little rolled fabric piece that can be used as a fun embellishment in your embroidery and stitching projects. Today, I'm going to show you how to do this. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So a bat is this little rolled fabric embellishment and it comes from traditional pojagi or Korean stitching. And when added to a piece, it was thought to bring uh, good luck and best wishes to the receiver of the gift. So there are a lot of different ways this can be used as an embellishment both traditional and non-traditional. So I've used bats as flowers in this little bookmark. And you can see the full tutorial for this bookmark on my website. I'm sure that once you see how to do this fun little piece, you'll think of a lot of different places. These can be added to different fiber art projects. So to make this, you're just going to need a little square of lightweight fabric. So in my sample, I'm using a really lightweight square of handkerchief linen. This can also be done with silk or even lightweight cotton. So you're just going to need a square of fabric around two inches square, and then you'll need some pins, a needle, and just regular sewing thread. Begin at one corner of the square and roll it in toward the middle. Using a needle, will help you be able to roll it more tightly. Once you've rolled that side all the way into the middle, use a couple of pins to hold that roll in place. Then turn it around and roll the opposite corner into the middle in the same way. Once both sides have been rolled into the middle and they're right beside each other, you can remove the pins. Fold the piece in half being careful not to undo the rolls of fabric. Then take a needle with a long piece of thread and take a couple tacking stitches to secure the end of the thread. Wrap the thread around the piece many times pulling it pretty tightly. You will probably want to use a matching color thread, but I'm using a contrasting color so that it's easier to see. And then once it's been wrapped tightly, take a few more stitches to knot off the thread and hold it securely. Once it's been tied off securely, take fabric scissors and trim off the inside. Once it's been cut, add a little dot of glue to the raw edges to stop it from unraveling and hold everything securely. And once the glue dries, you can open up the folds to reveal the bat embellishment. So that's all there is to it. You can see how easy it is to make. Have fun making these and using them as embellishments in your projects. For more tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com. Mm -hmm.